don't know who it is yet. It was some guy from Manchester, Joe McIntyre. Well, McIntyre's certainly undercover now. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I'm afraid we've nothing till Thursday. How do you probe with that tap, Janice? In the bathroom. Mm. Leanne always used to say that. Have you got any tools knocking about? If not, I'll grab a spanner off me, old man. I think there's some under the sink. I just need to tighten it up. My last fellow were a plumber. And even he never got round to fixing it. Do you want me to put some more toast in? <sighs> I'm joking, are you? I'll turn into a piece of toast. Hey, imagine how mad it would be if he actually did. <laughs> You could butt me up and cut off my crust. Oh, I could eat y'all up. <laughs> me and Michaela never used to sit down and eat breakfast together like this. Neither did me and Roger. Have you heard from her? She sent me a text last night. We had a quick exchange. How's she finding Swansea? Says she's settled in all right. Are you still missing her? Tell you what, I'm not missing. She used to make me take my boots off when I came at the house. And she didn't like my bib to be on show, you know, on coat hooks. Oh, the plot thickens. I used to like the same of her, but now I'm not so sure. No, oh, she was lovely. Just, um, just house proud, you know. You're a refreshing change, Janice. Thank you. Hey! I mean, I was just about to get in the shower, I swear. <laughs> I know what you look like in the morning. I don't know why you're getting in a flap about. Well, because I want you to see me looking my best. See so you fall back in love with me. There. Have that, you ask. Well, it's not going to happen, though. I'll just come to get my post. Morning, Jan. Morning, Trevor. Hello, love. We've been comparing bosses. Oh. It sounds like a right old soft Mr. Yeats. <laughs> He retires next month. Oh, I wish I was one. Sure she's not that bad. You've got a wicked take on the world, you two. You've got wicked streaks. <laughs> Still can't believe you tapped off with her. Yeah, it was a birthday. It was until then. No. Yeah, it was Christmas Eve at her house. She uh, cancelled the party to have me to herself. You must have thought it was Christmas. It was. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to see me again, but I uh, had to give her the brush off. <laughs> As if. What I did? Where are we going to first, by the way? I thought we'd go up uh, Piccadilly Plaza, you know, big shots, nobles, quicksilvers, Piccadilly amusements. I need to get some deodorant first. I said that you could borrow mine. It was roll on. So? Are you serious? Come on. Hello? Yeah, speaking. How am I today? Uh, not brilliant, if you want to know the truth, but I don't suppose you do. Two pound a month for the first three months. And how much is it after that? No, you're all right, Tap. Why? Because I don't want to save money on my energy bills. Yeah, I want to pay as much as possible. I haven't got a bad attitude. You're the one with a bad attitude. Pestering me at home when I'm minding my own business. I'm gonna stay right now. Don't... No, if you hang up on me. <sighs> Dad, me, again. You've got to this afternoon on reporting you missing to the police. And if you think I'm calling you bluff, I'm not. I know everything. You're a moron. Come home! It, it's just their mine. Mm. They're perfectly harmless. I, I've, I've got one on my neck somewhere. And they struck up conversation just like that, did well, they? that's what it seemed like, yes. Ah, here, here, here it is, you see there? <laughs> In the olden days, I used to hit them with the Bible. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if it was the weight of the book or the nature of the contents that was seen to do the trick. A combination of both, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> We're comparing ganglions. Uh? Ganglions. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, you, you, you look it up in the dictionary. Uh, Google it. 
Google ganglion, Natasha, Google ganglion. It, it is Natasha, isn't it? The, the hairdresser? It is. And how old was his suitor, would you say? Well, well younger than Audrey, but then again, who isn't? <laughs> you. Lucky Audrey, I say. He sounds quite dashing. Yeah, but perhaps uh, you could fill us in? On? Audrey's mysterious admirer. This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, well, his parting shot was to give her his business card. And what a parting shot, rapier-like. I wonder if she'll act on it. <laughs> uh, but there was something not quite right. See, Audrey and I were at the same function a few weeks back. I, I, I won't bore you with the ins and outs, but uh, there was a lady there, called Claudia, I think her name was, and her husband bore an uncanny resemblance to last night's said suitor. In fact, more than a resemblance, I'd go as far as to say it was him. Might you fit me in for a trim around midday? Yeah. You're all right, mate. Yeah? Have you, uh, seen Molly today? Yeah. Um, did she have anything to say for herself? She just told me about Deb. What about him? Oh, he's pretending he's still married to Sunita because her aunties are over from India and they don't know about the divorce. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. Didn't know anything about this. Yeah, it's got so bad, he's pretending to be on a business trip. Only the devastator, eh? Yeah. Have the afternoon off, Ty. I don't want the afternoon off. It's an order. Hey, we're partners. Stick a cowboy film on the telly. I just want her to come home, mate. I just want her back. I know you do, mate. Night! I've got Rickson coming in this afternoon, and this place is a right state. What happened to Linda this morning? Oh, she phoned in again. Her husband's lumbago. Lumbago? There's a made-up disease, if ever there was one. What was it on Friday? Friday she missed her bus. Ah. Uh, where she live? Ernston. Um, oh, Who volunteers to be cleaning for the day? I want this bottom in. Oh, I would, but I've got to take my cart at garage in my lunch hour. And that rules you out how? Sean, <laughs> pick someone. Kelly. <gasps> <laughs> Report him. Tell him everything. I'm not doing that. You know I'm not. Kill his plan completely. I can't. What if he never gets in touch? What if this just goes on and on and on? What am I going to tell people? I don't know. Lie after lie after lie? I want to give him more of a chance. What? To realise what an idiot he is? Mum, if he hasn't realised that, if, I mean, if that penny hasn't dropped... We've covered his tracks. We'll be culpable. Admit everything. Just tell him you were scared, you know, they'll understand. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, but we'll sit it out until he rings. And then I'll tell him I'm not playing along and he's to come home straight away. Yeah. He's going to love that, isn't it? Shop him, throw him to dogs, a ball.